Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and today we are going to be replacing the battery of a Zenfone Max Pro M1. So what you'll need, first and foremost you'll need a good toolkit which has a small sizes of bits to undo those small annoying little screws inside your mobile phone. Plus of course you are going to need a battery. Make sure you buy a genuine one so this is the model number and I'll try providing a buying link for you in the description below where you can go ahead and buy it off. Plus we'll be needing a plastic pry tool or an old credit card to separate the halves of this phone. Thankfully there is no adhesive to hold this back panel in place. So it is just a matter of friction fit and plastic locks. So what we have to do is take this credit card or if possible get a plastic pry tool. It makes the job much easier. But I'm going to use this credit card over here and what we have to do is just run it around the edges and yeah, by the way, I noticed that my camera was not recording, so I don't have the recording of this particular part. But it is as easy as it seems and we just have to run the credit card around the edges and off this half comes. So here is how the internals of this Zenfone Max Pro M1 look. I'm going to readjust the camera. You guys hit that like button and let's begin installing this battery. Okay, the view is now a little bit better. So before going towards the battery, let me give you a tour of this back panel. And here you can see that there are small points. These are actually the antennas for GPS, for Bluetooth, for Wi-Fi, your GSM modems and so on. So they are built onto this back panel. And the back panel is of hybrid design, which is a combination of aluminum and plastic parts. Okay, coming to the phone. Correspondingly on the phone, we can see that there are a little uh, pin points or push points which uh, help connect these antennas towards the motherboard of the phone. So whenever you are prying it out, make sure you do it very carefully. If you break these uh, pin points, then uh, your modems or your antennas or your you know Bluetooth and Wi-Fi signal is not going to work. So do it very, very carefully. Take your time. Finally, here is the battery and we have to remove it. Oh, I miss the older days where replacement of battery was just a two minute job. But here we have to do a Lego style connector, which is sadly under this uh, plastic motherboard cover. And for that, I can see a bunch of screws over here. So there are a lot of them, I guess, eight or nine screws. And we'll have to undo each and every one of them. Here is a warranty screw, which is under this uh, white colored sticker. But uh, I'll not be worrying about the warranty this time because already it's uh, far gone. This phone was brought in 2017 or 18. So I'll be using this a little four way screwdriver over here to undo uh, the screws. And if you want to buy a good toolkit, something like this, then I'll also provide buying link for the toolkit in description below. You can go ahead and check it out. So by the time I uh, put a little bit of fast forward and undo all of these screws, you guys let me know in comments below if you've been using uh, an older version of phone, say from 2018 or 19 and which phone you use and how is it working this far long? Let me know in comment section below, guys. Okay, so the plastic tray is out. Most of the screws are out and let's see if this thing comes out or not. And I can see that it is not uh, coming out very easily because there's this fingerprint sensor connector in the way and it is connected down below over here to the motherboard. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to undo that Lego style connector. And I'll swap out my four-way screw bit towards a flat bit. Uh, guys, just get a plastic pry tool which makes this thing very, uh, very simple and uh, very much easier. But I have the screwdriver which is what I'm going to use. So let's undo this uh, connector for the fingerprint sensor and then this uh, plastic shield should come out no problem. Yeah, if your fingerprint sensor on the phone is not working correctly, then this is the time to swap it out. Okay, now this... Uh, Plastic shield is mostly loose, but it is still stuck at one point. Let's see what it is. Oh, it is the camera. So I guess that the camera is still uh, glued a little bit at this particular point to this uh, plastic shield. So I'll have to take that uh, out as well. And uh, yeah, you can undo that camera, but uh, I guess we don't need to do that because what we need is access to this particular point. This is the Lego style connector for uh, the battery itself. And I guess I can just avoid removing that camera and simply use this pull tab, the red tab, to remove the adhesive of the battery. 
Before doing that, I'll undo the Lego style connector, which I showed you earlier. And after that, I'll be pulling out this uh, uh, adhesive remover or this pull tab, whatever it is known as these fancy things. And after pulling it out, the battery was still very firmly stuck in the place. So I got the help from our good old friend, Mr. Credit Card. And after a bit of prying, the battery is finally loose and out it comes something like this. Okay. And the battery is still uh, partially stuck using these adhesive strips. You may want to clear each and every a bit of this uh, annoying strip. And here, I guess finally we are done by removing the battery. So here is how the original battery looks. This was rated at 5000 milliamps and the performance of this battery was pretty good uh, considering it's a two or three year old battery. And here is the new battery which we are going to replace. Make sure that the model number is exactly the same. You don't want to be installing a wrong kind of battery because that is going to cause a whole lot of issues in your phone. So here goes in the battery. The first thing you need to connect is this the battery Lego style connector. So let's do that. And uh, by connecting this uh, Lego style connector, you can see the thing is right here, over here. By the way, these bits are annoying, isn't it? I would prefer battery to have the good old socket kind of thing in the older days, you know, when you just remove the back panel and then you installed a new battery. Okay, with that a bit of rant aside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the phone on because the last thing you want to happen is that after you are done with, you know, all the process and installation and then you find out that the phone does not turn on so we are good here the phone is uh, turning on and now we can proceed towards the installation of this uh, plastic shield or this uh, bracket and the fingerprint sensor is still stuck to this uh, shield so what i'll have to do is uh, connect that again the small uh, tiny lego style connector towards the motherboard and here i have connected it you can see it's below this uh, plastic shield it's very small one and let's first verify if this fingerprint scanner is uh, working or not and yeah we are again good here the fingerprint sensor is working correctly even with the other finger so no problems over there the journey here so far has been very smooth so what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and install these uh, screws and what you have to do well nothing just sit back relax because the fast forward will do it for you yeah you can do one thing that is go down below and hit those a uh, nice little like and subscribe buttons down below and in the meanwhile i'll be done with installing these screws in the phone. Okay, so the screws are in and the phone is mostly assembled. The fingerprint sensor is working. And here is one thing, a golden tip, which I recommend to you. There is this application known as CPUX. And what you have to do is scroll down towards the test section. And this is going to help us test out each and every hardware, each and every functionality of this phone so that nothing will be left out. This is a very nice thing to do whenever you have opened or repaired your phone with uh, assurance that yeah everything is going to be working fine what i'm going to do is simply put this uh, back cover back on it is just a matter of plastic locks and friction fit so nothing special over here just align it and slowly start working each and every plastic lock of this back panel just go around apply gentle pressure and make sure that each and every lock is uh, properly uh, connected and firmly closed in its position and i guess yeah the phone is now starting to look like a phone as it was intended to be so that is how we have finally completed the battery swap of this zenfone max pro m1 and let me close this video with a small tip guys make sure you try using your hardware your phones for one or two years extra because selling them out, throwing them out or, you know, just putting them in the garbage is the worst thing you can do. And e-waste is the number one problem which modern society has to deal with. So that was it for this little video, guys. Take care and have a nice day.